Hey, what's going on, guys? Core X Designs here, and welcome to another 3D Studio Max tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to render out the stylized effects from 3D Studio Max 2012 and later, that is 2012 and 13 as of now, and how to render them out. Now, for example, you might have already, you know, got to, uh, you know, experiment with these stylized effects. So, right in front of you, I have my Lumia 900 model. And it's just like a uh, temporary thing, no permanent materials are yet applied, but it's just for the sake of the tutorial. So what I'm saying is, um, if you ever tried stylizing this uh, this viewport using the Nitrous Display in 3 Studio Max 2012 and 13, you'll see that it looks pretty cool. But the problem we get is we cannot render this out uh, using V-Ray or using Mental Ray. Now. If you want to do it, I mean, for example, if you want an intro and you really want this cartoony feel to it, you need to work really hard in After Effects to actually get that effect. But uh, you'll be surprised to know that this is, this is possible in 3D Studio Max 2012 and later. So the way we do this is, first thing, you cannot render this out using V-Ray or Mentally or even the default scanline renderer. Those are not meant for the, scan, for the uh, nitrous display. So what you need to do first thing is just go ahead and change the materials that you have applied. For example, I had Vera materials all over the place on this Lumia 900 model, but I had to change them to get you know the standard materials. So as you can see, I have all these standard materials here, and I just you know made some random materials with random colors to show you guys. So this is how it looks right now. Okay, so you need you need to make sure that all your materials that have been applied to your model are standard materials and not video materials or architectural materials just pure standard next up we need to do is go into render setup and you want to go down and as you can see right now my renderer is set to Vray ADV what we want to do is click on these three little dots here and change your renderer to Quicksilver hardware renderer renderer hit OK and then move over to the renderer tab and here very easily you can see that we have the rendering level to realistic but if you go ahead and change this to color pencil, I guess that's what we're using here. And you know, just go ahead and illuminate with scene lights or default lights, whatever you want. I don't think I have any lights here right now. So I'm just gonna just go with default lights. And let's go ahead and move down. You can also uh, uh, you know enable and disable reflections. Of course the render won't be as realistic as V-Ray, but of course you don't want it to be realistic because you you're looking for that cartoony feel. Okay, so everything else looks fine with me. I'm just going to go ahead and very quickly hit render and I'll just wait for it to render out. Okay, so not as good as we expected it to be, but the reason we're getting this kind of thing is because we're not rendering it out using a camera. So if we go ahead and really quickly, let's go ahead and create a camera from this view only. And the way we do this is just go ahead and go to the view in the perspective and then hit control C. And that's going to create a camera from the view. So if we go ahead and render this out, hopefully it's going to be much better this time. Okay, so it might not look better, but it is better. So if you go ahead and really quickly say, uh, let's say zoom in here, whoa, and maybe even orbit around just a touch, and let's try rendering it out right now. So as you can see, you can get that cartoony feel right here, and you know it lo it looks pretty good. Uh, instead of uh, color pencil, if you try to change it to let's say uh, color ink, maybe. Okay, now that is looking really cool. It looks, it gives that cartoony feel to it, and also looks really cool. So if you, all, all we need to do now is go ahead and change the rendering level inside of that render setup. Also, so we change that to color ink, hit render, and you know we'll go ahead and render this out. Okay, so as you can see, it's rendered out, and it looks really cool. Now, one more thing it can be used for is uh, let me go ahead and let's say no. Okay, to show you what it can do actually. So I just really quickly create some text here and go text and doing the front viewport here somewhere. Yeah, okay. Change the font. Uh, okay. Okay, it, this will do for down. And I'll add some bevel to this. Okay, so there we go. I'll just lower down the bevel amount here. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and collapse all of this into an editable poly. And uh, don't worry, you'll see what I'm about to do. Hit M. And I'll apply different colored materials to different parts of this thing. 
and you know you'll see how beautiful it looks so I'm just gonna go right away to here and uh, I, know, I don't know pink here maybe and white uh, and red here okay so it looks it looks very cartoony here and looks really cool if you want to use it for an intro or something and if you go ahead and really render this out you know it will look pretty good and, oh of course <laughs> I forgot to change the render type and change it from realistic to color pencil what am I saying? I'm using color ink okay color ink and just go ahead and render this out and it's really quick to render and as you can see I got that cartoony feel to it as well so this is really good for uh, you know um, doing this on some certain intro that you want a cartoony look on of course you don't need to be cartoony look you can even have some tech uh, you know there are pretty, it, there are a lot of stylized effects here but yeah you need to have nitrous display on in, in order to use this so if you want to you know uh, you know st or switch on the nitrous display for 3D Studio Max what you want to do is go into sort of customize oops and go into preferences okay and now in here you need to go into viewports and you want to choose the driver to be nitrous so I'm going to hit choose driver and by default it is nitrous but some some people use direct 3D or OpenGL but you know for this to work you need to have nitrous display on hit okay now display driver changes will take effect the next time you start 3ds max but since my mind was already nitrous it won't it won't affect this so that's how you you know switch on nitrous and switch off nitrous for example you can switch on nitrous when you wanna you know render out that high quality that uh, th this kind of thing here and then you can you know ch switch to direct 3d when you're back to normal if you use direct 3d or opengl but you know personally i always use nitrous display because uh, you know to me it doesn't really make a difference okay so that's how you turn that on so yeah this is going to be pretty much it for this tutorial as uh, so just a really quick tip kind of thing so thanks for watching everyone if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button down below favorite the video and share it with your friends if you really like it also go ahead and subscribe to my channel to be notified of my new videos that I upload every week uh, you know twice a week or something so yeah thanks for watching everyone and uh, yeah have a nice day